Successful golf courses are kept in pristine condition at all times. Turf grass has many different needs when it comes to fertilizers and pest prevention, as well as disease suppression. There is only one machine capable of carrying on these kinds of tasks, the sprayer. This machine is a crucial piece of equipment that needs to be taken care of and calibrated correctly. In this video, I will show you how to calibrate a sprayer. The first step in sprayer calibration is knowing the machine well. On our model, the tank size is 700 liters and we spray using the red T-Jet nozzles. The control panel is quite advanced on our sprayer. The red button on the side is the master spray activation switch. The three buttons directly closest to the master switch and the palm rest are the boom activation buttons. These allow you to activate all three booms at once or just the ones you want. There is also a PSI gauge to ensure you are spraying at the proper pressure. We use 50 PSI for our applications. When traveling, we drive in second gear, low. After filling the sprayer tank about half full with water, it is now time to calculate the speed at which you would travel. This speed will be used for further calculations later. First set your start point. Next we will measure out 100 feet using a measuring wheel. With the green and white stake marking the starting point and the measuring wheel being the finish point, it is now time to drive between the two places. With the machine in the selective drive gear, in our case second low, start about 5 meters behind the start point to ensure you are traveling at desired speed at the start line. When crossing the start line, run the timer and drive to the finish as fast as the machine will go in the selective gear. To travel the 100 meters from start to finish took 57.08 seconds. Repeat this process again in second gear low from the finish to start line, meanwhile tracking the time. Travel the 100 meters from finish to start took 57.97 seconds. Now that we have our travel times, I have inputted them into my spreadsheet to calculate the average speed in kilometers per hour. This is our Apple Max spray nozzle calibrator. It uses your speed already calculated in the previous step and gives you a readout of how many liters per minute you should expect for each nozzle. It takes about 30 seconds per nozzle. When the screen displays ready, place the bottle below the nozzle. It will then display checking and finally give you a readout in liters per minute as well as liters per hour. It was tough to read, but this nozzle was calculated at 1.60 liters per minute.
Once you have recorded all individual nozzle outputs, average them out to get your average nozzle output, as well as total them all together for your total nozzle output. Now that we know the average time at which it took to travel the distance of the test strip, as well as the total nozzle output for the entire boom width, it is now time to begin calculating the sprayer application rate. Because our nozzles were read in liters per minute rate, we need to first calculate the time it took to travel as a percentage. To do this, simply divide the average travel time by 60. Next, we need to calculate the area of the test strip we drove earlier. For this, we need to know the width of the swath or the spacing of nozzles on the boom. On our example sprayer, our boom width is 5.59 meters. So to find the area covered by the sprayer in our test strip, we need to first multiply the 100 meters traveled by 5.59 meters, the width of our boom. This gives us an area of 559 square meters. Next, convert the area in the test strip to hectares. To do this, we need to multiply by 0 0.0001. Now our test area is in hectares. In order to convert this number to a full hectare, take one hectare and divide it by the result of the previous calculation. We now have what I'm calling is our multiplication factor. Now that we have our multiplication factor, next we need to convert the amount of spray we would have used for the test strip and convert it to how much we would use over one hectare. This is known as our sprayer application rate. To do this, we need the same multiplication factor as we used previously. Simply multiply the numbers together, this being the output for the test strip and the multiplication factor, and together we have successfully calculated in liters per hectare our sprayer application rate. To calibrate your speed using the same nozzles to get the manufacturer specified label rate, use this formula. With preset speed, meaning the speed at which we found to be the average, multiply that by the sprayer application rate, which is the one we calculated out previously, and the total of these two numbers divided by the manufacturer recommended spray rate, which is usually listed on the label. This will give you your speed that you should be traveling off based off your nozzle output. In conclusion, we have learnt the steps required for proper calibration of a boom sprayer. Proper calibration is necessary when attempting to apply the manufacturer's suggested product rate. Without calibration, you could be putting lethal doses of product down without even knowing it until it was too late. Calibrate your sprayer. Save your turf.